two-sentence horror. I'm sorry, darling, but the courts granted your father full custody. I couldn't hear my daughter's reply as I held her under the water, but I knew she understood. When the Countess offered to take me, a simple peasant girl, under her care and into her palace, I immediately accepted. After all, who could refuse the chance to live with the great Bator Erzabet? The creator's voice boomed. Congratulations! You get to live forever! Existence will transcend to the next phase. All things living and dead will move on, but you will remain. I devoured the last scraps of my childhood friend as the old man whispered, Good boy, you're free. Climbing the basement stairs, I realized the door had never been locked. After slitting the throat of the crazy old hag that had broken into my home, I went to call the police. However, as my unfamiliarly wrinkled and crooked fingers hovered over the dial pad, I couldn't remember the number. Just because your temperature is a bit high doesn't mean you can take a day off of school. You have a test, and I'm sure that the swelling in your tummy will go down and the pain will be gone by the time you even get there. That's not a funny joke, babe, and you know it. Anyway, he'd never do something like that. He's my friend, and you don't know him like I do. While standing before the gates of hell, the man's sins were read aloud. $10,245 spent in the torture of animals for medical research. $144,345 in the killing of innocent civilians during warfare. $59,800 spent to fund thieving corporations. The list grew long, and the man more confused, until a chill ran down his spine, and he whispered, Taxes. I thought I was smart to wish for lots of money, immortality, and that only I could kill myself. I regretted my phrasing as I lay dying in a research hospital with a horrific autoimmune disease. My pretty young wife loyally held my hand as my organs were shutting down and old age finally claimed me. Her tears were real and our last moments together were tender and loving, yet my final thought was still a disturbing one. Weren't we both the same age when we married just a year ago? At the end, the faithful man stood face to face with the Creator and finally asked, Is it true that you made everyone and everything? Frowning, the Creator responded, I thought I did. Who are you? How do you torture all the souls you collect? I asked the devil as I signed on the dotted line. I reincarnate them, the devil replied with a smile before vanishing. For as long as I've been immortal, I've charged into danger, taken on unfathomable threats, never fearing bodily harm but nothing could have prepared for the terror that would fill me as Vesuvius erupted, covering me permanently in ash. My son's fortune cookie said he would be betrayed. My daughter said she would be shown mercy. Mine said I would face a difficult choice. A woman approached Asylum's receptionist. My daughter has been seeing ghosts. I want to commit her. The receptionist looked at the little girl. The girl said, it's the only way I could get away from her. I wiped my eyes then cleared my throat and said, I forgive you, to my child's killer, knowing that his apology was real. Then I sliced off another piece of his liver and said, If you had just sounded that sincere during your drunk driving trial, we wouldn't be here right now. My uncle gave me a beautiful doll and told me to never cover its eyes. A couple months later, I accidentally dropped it and cracked open its face. That's when the camera fell out. I've sacrificed so much to be able to get here. What do you mean it's closed? Smiling wickedly, the demon simply pointed to the under new management sign covering the pearly gates. You can stay here with your child and you both die or you can let me take her and you both live, he smirked, lowering his gun. But no matter what the policeman said, she refused to drop the knife and release her daughter before the flames from her burning home consumed them both. My neighbor let me keep his wife's pet parrot after her death. My guilty conscience can be soothed now, knowing the screaming I used to hear was just the bird. Please free me. I've been trapped in here for so many years, the frail old man pleaded. Of course I'll save you, the young girl replied, breaking the circle of salt. And they lived happily ever after, I concluded as I quietly closed the book and tiptoed away so the children could sleep. Although it had been almost 20 years and I was no longer a bus driver, 
I still remembered all their names. When the man saw several cops chasing a teenager, he grabbed the teenager and pinned him to the ground. Thank you for catching patient Zero, but we have to take you both, said the cops from a distance. There is only one woman that I ever loved, the only person that I couldn't live without. So when the gunman said choose, I chose her over my children. But like I said to my husband, when he asked me why I saved myself, we can always have more children. You can't kill one Siamese twin and have the other survive. Their circulatory system is way too connected, but you could lobotomize one. I saw you pour the drinks, moron, I said as I drank from the cup he had clearly not poisoned. But did you see me freeze the ice? He smirked as my stomach began to ache. The doctor said autism couldn't be cured, but I started corrections with a belt, and my boy is already becoming nice and quiet. You always stand up to a bully, I told my son one time, after picking him up from school. As I lay on the floor bleeding to death, I regretted the foolish advice I had given my little darling after watching him throw down mommy's phone to face his stepfather instead of calling 911. The young boy bid a tearful, final goodbye to his mother as the funeral pyre was lit. She smiled back at him reassuringly as the roar of the sacrificial flames rose over her child's screams. Jokingly, I asked my dog if she was a skinwalker. She smiled and winked at me. During my historical research, I discovered the diary of a girl who had died in a smallpox epidemic. Crinkling my nose in disgust, I swept away the flakes of some kind of dandruff from between the pages before eagerly beginning to read her account. I had developed a nasty habit of licking the knife after I was done. The other surgeons were horrified. Babe, I think there's peanuts in this. Please. My EpiPen. I wheeze dropping my fork. From across the dining table, I watch my wife glance briefly in my direction before she goes back to eating, as though I hadn't spoken at all. Breaking news. After 20 years, a police sketch of the fugitive dubbed the Criss Cross Killer has finally been released. My entire body grows cold as I turn to look at my husband of 15 years, sleeping peacefully beside me, his face illuminated by the TV's glow. As I held my newborn, her eyes, blue and full of life, reminded me of my wife's before the hardest choice of my life was made. I whispered goodnight to my daughter, but from the crib came a familiar voice. How could you not chose me? The scientists injected me with an experimental compound designed to unlock the ultimate evolutionary potential of humanity, expecting me to gain godlike powers. But as my body began to turn itself inside out, my skin thickening into shell and my limbs splitting into ten bony legs, they realized they had not factored in carcinization. I was shocked as the guy across from me in the cafe got down on one knee, pulled out the ring and called his girlfriend's name to make her turn around. Two days later, my ears are still ringing and I will never forget the pink mist hitting the walls. And for my last wish, I wish you were set free. I should have known that there is a reason why they were sealed in that lamp for the first place. Every time someone who isn't related to me lies to me, I get $10. I was surprised when I reached into my pocket and pulled out 30 bucks after my mother told me, you're safe with me, son. I haven't killed anybody. She said I could smash if I beat her in a game. One game of Russian roulette later, I'm having the time of my life. I'm worried we've already gone through four babysitters this month, the wife fretted. Yes, dear, but our darling son is a growing boy, so naturally we'll be extra ravenous, the husband reassured her. If you want the abuse to stop, then you have to let me know who is giving you these bruises, said the teacher to the kid. The next morning, the teacher woke up with several bruises on her and an inhuman figure standing at the foot of her bed. We received word that you are involved in the kidnapping of a child, the investigator confronted the televangelist while they searched over his nine children. The televangelist's frail wife stood up shakily and said, What took you so long? It's been 20 years. My kidnapper handed me another glass of sake promising that he'll release me when I finish the bottle. With my face feeling flush and my heart trying not to seize with each glass, we both know that I'm never leaving this room alive. A burn victim would look better than you, I repeat the phrase in my head, looking at my crush's burning body after she rejected me, and I realize how much of a liar she always was. Every day in high school you threatened to break every bone in my body, Billy cried to at his bully. So you're lucky I'm just only going to break one of yours, he continued, aiming the hammer at his restrained tormentor's C4 vertebrae. 
We don't need a verbal confirmation to come inside. An open door with a welcome mat is enough. How do you tell the difference between live ammunition and blanks? Asked the new hire. I don't know. I just get paid to load the guns, replied the prop assistant. After waking up, the man found a note that read, Your employment with our company is officially terminated. The small two-seater spaceship that he and his superior used to come to the uninhabited planet was also gone. I was watching a movie with my boyfriend, and suddenly I felt his hand getting colder. I sighed as I got off the couch to put it in the microwave again. I kept stroking my daughter's hair with one hand as she cried over yet another rejection letter. With the other hand, I picked up the hacksaw and coolly noted, I told you, sweetie, the only way we're going to get the money is if we apply to one of those scholarships for the physically disabled. Oh, I would never hurt you. The kidnapper reassured the child even as the sirens grew louder. Physically, he clarified, pulling the trigger on himself. It has been almost a decade since the last human birth, and our children are done pretending. I always thought it odd when my deaf daughter would cover her ears every time we entered our basement. She started doing the same thing whenever we drove by the cemetery. I laughed at the poor English of the fortune teller had when she told me, your dismemberment will be by murder. As my key jammed in the locked car door, I saw the oddly shaped black cloud approaching and recalled the crow that I had kicked this morning. I know I have an unfortunate reputation in this day and age, but I assure you I was a man of honor and a stalwart defender of Christendom, said the vampire. Well, I suppose it would be unchristian of me to let a fellow man of God starve, said the plantation owner. The rich family I served in their doomsday bunker never suspected I would poison their food, just like I never suspected the air supply would have a dead man switch. We have some questions. The autopsy shows that she drank bleach. I thought about the bottles my mother-in-law had prepared as an olive branch and wept. In a stroke of short-sighted genius, we lured the monster around the city walls to its own tail, where gluttony triumphed over the pain of the bites. Now every time the serpentine abomination coiled around our town moves to devour more of itself, the loop tightens. Liquor was my only friend for many years, but my recent stomach cancer diagnosis means I can never drink again. But the doctors never said anything about putting vodka in my enema bag. Turkey's gone, my husband yelled, and through the airplane window, we watched the Mediterranean pour into the resulting void. My family can trace our ancestors back to the very first Thanksgiving. Every year I quietly reflect, I wish I could have told them to kill those pale men who came from the sea and everyone that followed. We asked Aunt Judy why she didn't bring her famous cranberry sauce to Thanksgiving dinner this year. I hit menopause, she said. The doctor looked shocked at the MRI scan of my brain. When was the last time you swam outdoors? Quiet down, I'm hearing voices when I shouldn't, called the teacher across the room. The psychiatrist looked through the glass window at her seated in the padded cell, pity in his eyes. My wife would always get mad at me and hide my PS5, so secretly I got a new one. Eventually ended up selling the old one for parts on the internet, but I never did figure out where she'd hidden the console. 